Come on, we gotta hurry. Come on, ballerina. We gotta get milk real fast. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's my turn. I get a x-ray consultation. Is it my turn? Yeah. Did you fill out your paperwork? Uh, Do I need to fill out my paperwork? Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'm ready for your consultation. If you need coffee or anything, it's right there. The bathroom is located over here to your side. I'll just make awesome. yourself fill out a hole and Thanks. we'll take you back shortly, okay? Okay, just let me know. Just gonna like speed this up or something. Sure what? Anyway, so uh, who who referred you to our office? Kinsley Cox. Mm -hmm. She is great. She is one of our best patients. I mean, she <laughs> just uh, you know just brightens up the place when she comes in. We really love her. Glad, <laughs> glad she told uh, you. <laughs> um, so what brings you in? Um. <laughs> Bad posture. No. Yeah. No. What brings you in? <laughs> Um, my back hurts when I'm cutting hair. I'm having to hold my Okay, that's a part. <laughs> when you do your quotations. Like, so your yeah. upper back, more the upper back or lower? Well, upper back. Okay. To the right. Alright, right, so besides um, the upper back pain, are there any other health problems that you're having, whether or not you think it's related to the upper back pain? No. Okay. So no other health uh, concerns or problems that you have? Ever. I don't think so. Okay. You? Hey, who? Who's the patient here? <laughs> well, you know me. So you can use anything Do you ever have a headache? Uh, I mean. Randomly. Just randomly? Okay. Yeah. Thankfully. Um, upper back. Any, any low back pain? Um, no? Okay. Neck pain, neck pain. Alright. Um, Duh, 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 duh. Because I get it just as regular. No, that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> been, uh, I suffered with the upper back pain. Has it been more than two months? Um, How long ago? Years. Years. Ah. Right. Uh, From doing hair. Yeah. Okay. Well, when, when did you start doing hair? Ten years ago. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah, okay. So prior to 10 years ago, have you ever experienced uh, the upper back pain before? Feel the upper back pain, is it more than uh, once or twice a month? Uh, yeah, once or twice a month. Just once or twice a month. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no less. But before you be began feeling that uh, upper back pain, uh, was there any kind of accident or injury or fall? Um, that you can recall. No? Okay. So no car accidents that you've been in. Any sports injuries? Uh, chili. I know you did chili growing up. Uh, you were a big time skater, roller skater. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. So any any injuries you can. Uh... I did hurt my back from chili. Oh, uh, okay. And I to see a chiropractor. You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. When was that? Like 11 or 12 years ago. Yeah. So, how did that happen? Like, uh, falling. Falling? Okay. About how, how far up, you think? When they were holding me up. Oh, so they were actually holding you up <laughs> and they just dropped you. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny. This is Well, I was trying to uh, be uh, your doctor. Put off, took the took the husband hat off. Put the doctor hat on. <laughs> did you land on grass or concrete? What What did you land on? Um, you just, like fall on it, <laughs> like the people. Right. I know you're supposed. They're supposed to catch you. But sometimes this, I would hit them, like their knee or. Okay, but this time you fell on the ground, right? 
When I got really bad hair, I hit their knee. You hit their knee? My back went into their knee. Oh, okay. I got you now. Part of your back, do you recall? Near my hips, the bottom. Because it was add on. Okay. Um, and I know you said you did this for work. So, yeah. kind of explain to me a, normal, a typical day for you at work. I went through a couple colors, a couple haircuts. Okay, so you're on your feet a good bit, I'd say. Mm -hmm. About how long are you on your feet a day? Uh, eight hours sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. with a break. A couple hours break in the middle. So in your break, you're like at a, at a computer desk doing... Mm -hmm. You too? Um, yeah. Okay. Or eat lunch. Or eat lunch. Okay. So, definitely, you know, especially with that initial fall 12 years ago, but you did see a chiropractor. Uh, your work, you know, that's definitely putting a lot of stress, especially in that upper back area. Um, and you've been doing this for 10 years now. So, definitely uh, something that can, uh, you know, shift, shift those bones out of alignment. Um, I'll take a look at that. So, what are you trying to fix to this? That hasn't fixed it yet. Getting adjusted regularly. Okay. But <laughs> it has fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it helps. <laughs> but we have to get you more on a more regular schedule. All right. Okay. Uh, about this, uh, when it starts hurting, we got to be proactive about this. I don't want to be um, reactive. You know, I don't want to wait till it starts hurting. Um, so that's kind of be discouraging for you. You know, kind of frustrating to be working on somebody that kind of hurts uh, while you're working on them. Don't feel like you're giving them, your clients the best. Mm -hmm. um, so what does it feel like uh, when it's at its worst? Um, just a constant pain okay. in that spot. Would you say it's like kind of dull, achy, sharp, uh, stabbing? Achy. Achy. And on a scale of one to 10, one being a mosquito bite, 10 being, you know, worst pain you ever felt? Um, what would you say it gets mm, up to? Six. Six, okay. The most, can you point to it? Okay. Here, somewhere. So, and again, more on that right side? Yeah. Okay. Up. In between the shoulder blades here? Yeah, right there. Alright. Because I can feel it a little bit now. Alright. Because I need and I just went. Mm -hmm. It's been a little while. It typically is more on that right side. I mean, your right hand. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, so Heather, most, I'll be honest with you, most people, they don't go to a doctor because of the pain. They usually go see someone when that pain starts to affect their life in a negative way. So um, what, what are some things, and I like to set goals for my patients so they can know what to expect from me while they're under care. So what activities does this prevent you from doing either partially or completely that you would like to do again? Um, it doesn't really. <laughs> no. um, well, it, it affects your just your work apparently. You know, yeah. working on people. Does it affect your home life at all? Like when you get home to be able to pick up the kiddos. I guess I probably shouldn't when it's hurting, but yeah. uh, you just kind of push through it, kind of thing. Live with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we don't want you to live with it. It's not. Uh, it's not normal to be feeling like that. Uh, even twice a month, um, gotta pay attention to that. Listen to your body on, over 10 years. What do you think will happen if this problem goes on for another 10 years? Get worse. Exactly, so um, taking into consideration everything we talked about, I want you to uh, tell me how committed you are to get this problem fixed without the use of drugs or surgery. 100%. 100%. Okay. Uh, on a one to ten scale, it's a hundred. <laughs> I don't think I said the one to ten scale. Uh, and are there any other concerns that you have about getting this problem corrected? Um, no. uh, what I want to do now is kind of explain what I do as a chiropractor in a condition that we treat here at our office. And it is, you know, if you see here, this is going to be um, two part models. So this. This subluxation could be anywhere in the spine. So for you specifically, you're feeling it more in that upper back. So here's your head, brain sits here, and your spinal cord goes all the way down. And 
out of that spinal cord comes these yellow things that are your spinal nerves. And if you're aligned properly and no pressures on them, have your curves, um, everything's working great, everything's working like, uh, doing like it should. What happens is you're working for 10 years as a hairstylist, you have three kids, you're chasing around, changing diapers, picking up, taking the gymnastic, taking <laughs> to dance class, trying to hold one while the other one's on your leg, you're running around, <laughs> making YouTube videos. So just you get the idea you got a lot going on. So stress builds up over that time, uh, along with other things. Um, and a husband that just would just, we'll just not even go there, okay? Um, so what happens, it puts, causes those, uh, your, you know, your uh, body to go misalign. And you see this here? It, that's nice and open. That's the way we want it to be. Those misalignments cause them to put pressure on those nerves. So it causes pain in those areas or dysfunction, headaches from time to time. And what I do as a chiropractor, yeah, I gotta take that. <laughs> I'll go in there and remove that interference. I want to check your joints. I want to see how they're doing. And I'm going to be recording what I'm saying just so I have a note of this. Mm -hmm. I have left short leg. See how your hips are doing, how those joints are. Oh, so you have some inflammation uh, around this left side. You feel that there compared to the other side? Mm -hmm. So we have a left PI. Uh, sacrum is rotated uh, to the left. Feel that there compared to the other side. Mm -hmm. L5 is PR. L2 is PR. So any digestive problems, these, these nerves here, they go into the uh, intestines uh, and the bowels. Any, any problems there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's keep it that way. Alright. Yeah, that one's not happening. So that, there's a subluxation here. Um, I can feel it down the back. So when I press there, you can kind of feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So the any any issues with heartburn, anything like that, th those nerves control um, stomach, esophagus, uh, that type of thing. No acid reflux. Okay. So P uh, T six is P R. You have uh, rib posterior rib. 1 and T1 on the right, uh, right or externally rotated shoulder blade, C7 is PR, any those headaches, right, you feel that there? Mm -hmm. That's where your headaches are coming from, so it's like, a, you feel like a little nodule right there on the left side. Right side is good, but we have that problem on the left, so. All right, we're going to sit up. Okay. So for the first one, we're going to take uh, an image of you uh, from the front, top and bottom, and then I'm going to put those together for our report when you're looking over them. Yeah. And uh, then we'll do the same thing to the side, okay? So uh, I'll let you switch with me. Alright. Yeah. Just smile? No. <laughs> you need a smile for these? Yes, that's important. Alright, so... When I, we're ready. I want you to look straight ahead. How you doing? Last thing I need you to do before is open your mouth. Now you're looking straight ahead. A little bit wider. Because <laughs> that allows us to see the, your teeth. I mean your bones behind your teeth. Alright, hold that nice and still. Alright. Wow! What? What? This is your first x-rays. Yeah, what is it? We'll is go it over this later. Yikes. Is it bad? Heather. What? <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> what? I don't, I'm, it's not major, it really isn't. But you got a little bit of scoliosis. <laughs> a little bit. Not major. <laughs> we can fix that. If you knew that, would you be adjusting it differently? Yeah. Really? Is there? What? If there is, I'm not taking this X-ray. <laughs> I mean, 
Like, Shouldn't you be sorry about something? Should be no way. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So what do you want to do? So you don't want to do that one right now? I don't want to. Not worth it. Dang. What, you want to see this person? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's mean, but Heather, you smile. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so we do have some slight curvature in the spine. Why is it like right right there? I don't know. Cause it's the, the, the sun. The sun. Yeah. I'm liking it. <laughs> I think that hell. I don't know. Anyway. It's a little curvy. It's a little curvy. A little scoliosis there. Oh, it's uh, my first X-rays. That's wild. I'm, this is really cool. So, can you yeah. see if I have any cavities? <laughs> I think you can see if you have feelings. You have any feelings? Oh yeah, I have feelings. All bright white. Um, but yes, she didn't swallow anything there. That is... <laughs> on my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and this little shadow right here is her heart. So she does have a big old heart. <laughs> and, yeah, so we'll get to work on that. For you, I promise. Yay, now just me. <laughs> Lift your right leg up. <laughs> Alright, as high as you can without bending your knee. Alright, same thing on the left side. The right side's a little harder for you. Or... A little different. I think they're the same. The right side's a little worse. Okay. Yeah. And you scoot down just a tad. Like this? Yeah. yeah. Power's turned on. Take the time here. Rest. So that felt amazing. I just want to lay there and not move. I'll be so good. A hundred dollars. Or a haircut. <laughs> yeah, I'll trade you for a haircut. I'll trade you for a haircut. I need one. Something serious. Super nice outside. I went to pick up Kento. And guess what? I forgot to vlog. So nice. Their new, their dance place finally is at the new place. I'm really excited. Kinsley went in the back way. <laughs> Come on, we gotta hurry. Come on, ballerina. We gotta get milk real fast. <laughs> Thank you. 